Today's Morning Mass is brought to you in part by these sponsors. Good morning. Our opening song is number 383, the servant song. <clears throat> What do you want of me, Lord? Where do you want me to serve you? Where can I sing your praises? I am your song, Jesus. Jesus, you are the Lord. Jesus, Jesus, you are the way. I hear you call my name, Lord, and I am Spirit stirs my deepest self. Sing your songs in me. Jesus, Jesus, you are my Lord. Jesus, Jesus, Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father, the Lord Jesus, be with you. And with your spirit. As we gather to celebrate the Eucharist today, we pause and we ask Jesus to forgive us our sins. Lord Jesus, you rose gloriously from the dead, giving us the hope of eternal life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you ascended in glory to your Father's right hand and now intercede on our behalf. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you fulfilled your promise and sent the Holy Spirit upon us to lead us and guide us on our way to the Father in heaven. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who through the grace of adoption chose us to be children of light, grant, we pray, that we may not be wrapped in the darkness of error, but always be seen in the to stand in the bright light of truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. When Isaac was so old that his eyesight had failed him, 
He called out his older son, Esau, and said to him, Son, yes, father, he replied. Isaac then said, As you can see, I am so old that I may now die at any time. Take your gear, therefore, your quiver and bow, and go out into the country to hunt some game for me. With your catch, prepare an appetizing dish for me, such as I like, and bring it to me to eat so that I may give you my special blessing before I die. Rebecca had been listening while Isaac was speaking to his son Esau. So when Esau went out into the country to hunt some game for his father, Rebecca then took the best of clothes of, his, of her older son Esau and she had, that she had in her house and gave them to the younger son Jacob to wear. And with the skins of the kids, she covered up his hands and the hairless parts of his neck. Then she handed her son Jacob the appetizing dish and the bread she had prepared. Bringing them to his father, Jacob said, Father, yes, replied Isaac, which of my sons are you? Jacob answered his father, I am Esau, your firstborn. I did as you told me. Please sit up and eat some of my game, so that you may give me your special blessing. But Isaac asked, How did you succeed so quickly, son? He answered, The Lord your God let things turn out well with me. Isaac then said to Jacob, Come closer, son, that I may feel you, to learn whether you really are my son Esau or not. So Jacob moved up closer to his father. When Isaac felt him, he said, Although the voice of Jacob's, the hands are Esau's, he failed to identify him because his hands were hairy like those of his brother Esau. So in the end, he gave him his blessing. Again, he asked Jacob, are you really my son Esau? Certainly, Jacob replied. Then Isaac said, serve me your game, son, that I may eat of it, eat of it and then give you my blessing. Jacob served it to him, and Isaac ate. He brought him wine, and he drank. Finally, his father Isaac said to Jacob, Come closer, son, and kiss me. As Jacob went up and kissed him, Isaac smelled the fragrance of his clothes. With that, he blessed him, saying, Ah, the fragrance of my son is like the fragrance of a field that the Lord has blessed. May God give to you of the dew of the heavens and of the fertility of the earth, abundance of grain and wine. Let peoples serve you and nations pay you homage. Be master of your brothers and may your mother's sons bow down to you. Cursed be those who curse you and blessed be those who bless you. The word of the Lord. <clears throat> Thanks be to God. Our response is, praise the Lord, for the Lord is good. Praise, praise the, the Lord, Lord, for the Lord is good. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise your, you servants of the Lord, who stand in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of our God. Praise, praise the, Lord, the Lord, for the Lord, the Lord is, good. is good. Praise the Lord, for the Lord is good. Sing praise to his name, which we love. For the Lord has chosen Jacob for himself, Israel for his own possession. Praise, Praise the, Lord, the Lord, for the Lord, the Lord is, is good. good. For I know that the Lord is great. Our Lord is greater than all gods. All that the Lord wills, he does, in heaven and on earth, in the seas, in all the deeps. Praise, Praise the, the Lord, Lord, for the, the Lord, Lord is, is good. good. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them and they follow me. Alleluia. May the Lord be in your heart and on your lips that you may worthily and fittingly proclaim his holy gospel. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, o Lord. The disciples of John approached Jesus and said, Why do we and the Pharisees fast much? But your disciples do not fast. Jesus answered them, Can the wedding guests mourn as long as the bridegroom is with them? The days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them, and then they will fast. No one patches an old cloak with a piece of unshrunken cloth for its fullness pulls away from the cloak and the tear gets worse. People do not put new wine into old wineskins, otherwise the skins burst, the wine spills out, and the skins are ruined. Rather, they pour new wine into fresh wineskins and both are preserved. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> I've been spending the summer burning the midnight oil and summarizing the Old Testament books one by one and uh, making it simpler for our sixth graders this coming fall because I've learned that so many of our young people going through our edu religious education program have hardly any concept of the biblical stories that we used to learn many, many years ago and never forgot. It's been interesting though, over and over and over and over again to see the same pattern. God promises, God keeps his promise, but the people always turn away. They always think they can do it better, which is the effect of original sin. We want to do it our way. Adam and Eve wanted to taste that apple to see really why they shouldn't have it. Um, and that's the whole course of history all through the Old Testament. Uh, today we have an example of that with Jacob and Esau. They were twins. I'm sure you know the story. J uh, Esau was born first. Uh, by a few minutes, so he had the right to inherit uh, the blessing from the father, which basically meant he got the majority of the property or whatever. Um, and he was a tough um, outside doorsman, loved to hunt and fish and things like that. Where his brother um, Jacob was kind of a mama's boy, stayed around home and so on. And um, he was a little more bright than was uh, his older brother Esau. Um, but nevertheless, uh, Esau was entitled to the blessing. But on one occasion, he made a stupid mistake. Um, he had been hunting all day and he came home and he was hungry. And his brother Jacob had probably fixed up a big bowl of lamb chowder. And um, Esau wanted some of it. And Jacob said, I'll give it to you if you give me your right to your, your father's blessing. And Esau, not being too bright, traded off his bowl of uh, his, his ride for a, a bowl of lamb chowder. And so Jacob felt he had it coming. And so the old man, Isaac, he was nearly blind. He knew his life was coming to an end. So he decided it's time to give Esau his blessing. And uh, Jacob's mother, Rebecca, heard that. And so she and Jacob lied and managed to get the blessing from the father um, by dressing Jacob in Esau's clothes and uh, putting lamb skin over his hands so he felt like he was a hairy boy like uh, Esau was. And so he tricked his brother uh, out of uh, his father's blessing. Um, but always, always, always in the Old Testament books, whenever people sin, there are consequences and they have to face the consequences. The consequences for Jacob and Rebecca, his mother, was that after that, of course, Isaac, the old man, couldn't trust his wife anymore. Um, Jacob had a flea for fear of having his life uh, taken by Esau, his brother. So the family is completely divided. They had to live that way for the rest of their lives. Um, fortunately, the story does have a happy ending down the road. Many years later, of course, all this time, Jacob has been living in fear of his brother trying to kill him. But toward the end, um, they were in an area where they were going to be meeting. And so Joseph, uh, or Jacob, and both of the sons had become very wealthy, uh, knowing that he's going to meet his brother the next day, sent him hundreds of sheep and hundreds of camels and all sorts of gifts uh, to appease his brother Esau. 
When Esau saw this, he said, what's all this for? Um, I don't need any of that stuff. I have enough of my own. And the brothers embraced and they became good friends and after that. And so the story has a happy ending. But the point of it all is that there are consequences for our action. And one of the things I enjoy about teaching all of this to our sixth graders is to remind them again and again and again, there are consequences of your actions, so think before you act. And so many people today don't do that. They do all the wrong things and then they complain when they have to face the consequences. If only they had thought ahead. And that goes for us grown ups too. Uh, I see my life in the same pattern over and over again. God promises, he keeps his promise, but so often I think I know a better way and then I have to face the consequences or receive the sacrament of reconciliation and find out that, gee, if you're just years ahead before you act, you'd be a lot better off. And I guess that message is true for everyone. Think before you act, and if we all do that, we save a lot of, a lot of our, ourselves a lot of grief and embarrassment and uh, can look back uh, with a clear conscience and feel good about our, our actions and so on. So even though these stories are 3,000 years old or whatever, they still have valuable lessons they can teach us. And if we are wise, we will listen to those stories and see the lessons and learn from them and uh, prosper in the process. So that's where we need the Holy Spirit. Today, as we celebrate the Eucharist and receive Jesus in the Eucharist, we ask him to continue to pour out his Holy Spirit upon us so that we will think before we act and make the right choices and in this way remain faithful to the Lord Jesus, who is always faithful to us. So with that in mind, let us pray. O oh God, our Heavenly Father, help us to realize how blessed we are with the presence of Jesus in the Eucharist and through his words in the Scripture. Inspire the Holy Spirit, may we act accordingly. Grant us this, Lord, in the favors we ask in Jesus' name. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, our Archbishop George Lucas, and for all parishioners throughout the Archdiocese of Omaha, that we may grow in our love of Jesus Christ, present in the Eucharist, and strengthened by his presence, reflect his love to others. We pray to the Lord. For the priests and people of the Archdiocese, as we all adjust to new priest assignments, new mass schedules, and parishes being closed, that we may be patient and understanding with one another, we pray to the Lord. For all parishioners, that by working together to build a parish center, we may draw closer together as a parish family, we pray to the Lord. For peace throughout the world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are ill, that they may experience the healing presence of Jesus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, that they may know the joys of eternal life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For young men and women, that they may discern God calling them to a life of service in the church as priests or religious, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In thanksgiving to God for the rain we have received and for continued favorable weather throughout the summer months, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of our unspoken needs and intentions, let us now pause and pray to the Lord in silence. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for Mrs. Mosbach, who's been, who has been buried from St. Anthony's Church this morning. And for her family who mourn her passing, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We offer this Mass this morning for the living and deceased of the Catholic and Proposic families. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O God, our Father in heaven, please grant us these and all our needs, for which we pray to you today in Jesus' name, for he is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have the spread to offer, which earth has given in human hands and made. It will become for us the bread of life. Amen. 
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer with humble and contrite hearts. Wash away my iniquity, cleanse me of my sins. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, who graciously accomplish the effects of your, of your mysteries, grant, we pray, that the deeds by which we serve you may be worthy of these sacred gifts. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by his birth he brought renewal to humanity's fallen state. By his suffering he has canceled out our sins. By his rising from the dead he has opened the way to eternal life. And by ascending to you, O Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created right it gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts, we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. And therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, 
his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by his death, you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with this Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Joseph, St. Isidore, and with all your saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely from failing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the, the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and George, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, the entire people your son has gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleased and joy the passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom we bestow in the world all that is good. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form of divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, and by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with all of you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us your peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
the body of Christ, the body of Christ, the body of Christ, the body of Christ, the body of Christ. <coughs> Please join me in making a spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you if you're ready there, and I myself holy to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Communion hymn is number 311, Table of Plenty. Come to the feast of heaven and earth, Come to the table of plenty. God will provide for all that we need here at the table of plenty. Oh, come and sit at my table where saints and sinners are friends. I wait to welcome the lost and lonely to share the cup of my love. Come to the feast of heaven and earth, come to the table of plenty. God will provide for all that we need here at the table of plenty. Let us pray. May the divine sacrament we have offered and received fill us with life, O Lord, we pray, so that bound to you in lasting charity we may bear fruit that lasts forever through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you and grant you his peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Let's pray the prayer for success in building our prairie center. Loving Father, we come to you in adoration. May our hearts be open to your guidance. And you have bestowed on our church community the gift to openly worship and praise your name. We humbly give thanks for the opportunity to serve you with our gifts and talents. 
Jesus, pour out your Holy Spirit as we gather in prayer to build a faith-filled prairie center for all generations. Most sacred heart of Jesus, pray for us. Blessed Virgin Mary, pray for us. St. Isidore, pray for us. Our final hymn is number 616, Like a Shepherd. <clears throat> Like a shepherd, he feeds his flock and gathers the lambs in his arms, holding them carefully close to his heart, leading them home. Say to the cities of Judah, Prepare the way of the Lord. Go to the mountain top, lift your voice. Jerusalem, here is your God. Like a shepherd, he feeds his flock and gathers the lambs in his arms, holding them carefully close to his heart, leading them home. I myself will shepherd them, for others have led them astray. The lost I will rescue and heal their wounds and pastor them, giving them rest. Like a shepherd, he feeds his flock and gathers the lambs in his arms holding them carefully close to his heart, leading them home. Today's Morning Mass is brought to you in part by these sponsors.